A near record number of people have already cast their ballots since early voting started last week. Records show that with six days left, more than 88,000 people have voted in this midterm election. During the last midterm in 2014, only 84,000 people voted in Shelby County during the entire early period. Now across Tennessee, more than 730,000 people have voted so far. But no matter how much better the early voting numbers are this year, it's a safe bet that the turnout among younger voters, millennials and the so-called Generation Z, are lower than any other age group. So tonight we're going one-on-one -on -one with a millennial who not only defies the stereotype by voting, uh, but she also ran for elected office and won. Uh, new state representative London Lamar actually are gonna be sworn in after the election, but you have no opposition in November, so congratulations a little early. Uh, thanks for being with us tonight. No problem, thank you for having me. So Ms. Lamar, today's ruling, thousands of applications not processed, but many of them just not complete. There was no address perhaps, no signature. Do you think this was deliberate by the election commission? What I would say is the Shelby County Election Commission should have initially took the initiative to correct these applications. That's why we have to turn in voter registration applications 30 days before the deadline. So I think we need to make sure we're exercising our resources and staff members to make sure every citizen in Memphis has the right to vote. I want to talk turnout now. Uh, you know this better than I do. Tennessee ranks 49th or 50th, depending on the year, when it comes to number of people voting. Right. Uh, under 30% show up in recent elections. That suggests to me that while millennials may be the worst at voting, really no age group, at least in Tennessee, has much to be proud of. Do you agree? I agree. I think it's all of us to working together to make sure we're exercising our right to vote. We must make sure that as individuals we're exercising our right to vote, our neighbors, our families, and our friends. So as a collective effort in a collective community, we all need to be pushing for us to have every right to vote and make sure we can vote uh, accessibly as well. Why is it so low in Tennessee, though, do you think? I think many of us are frustrated with political process. What you have seen are a lot of voter suppression tactics with the increase of voter ID laws, with stunts such as you've seen, um, with uh, pushing uh, voter registrations to the side because they may have slight er errors. Um, voters are not um, uh, uh, trusting of the political process, and therefore they are disengaging. What we need to do is make sure that we can reinvest trust, uh, put more trust into the voter uh, process, and make sure we can exercise everyone's right to vote. The younger generation has always had lighter turnout, uh, we know this, but your generation is really putting off uh, starting their careers, getting married, having kids. They're more married to their phones than anything. <laughs> uh, are you fighting obstacles that you can't really do anything about? Um, what I'm finding, uh, uh, Morris, most obstacles are their ability to access the right to vote. It's, uh, they don't have information about the right to vote. They don't know how to, uh, to vote. They don't know how to get registered. So what we're doing as a community is making sure we can make that process easier so that more young people can exercise their right to vote. All right, very good. Representative-elect London Lamar, uh, thank you for joining us. We hope to talk to you again soon.